Hi, this is Chris Zitko. I'm one of the e-comfort experts here. I'm going to show you how to size a bedroom above a garage. We do get a lot of questions on this. Just as a reminder, our mini split sizing calculator here can be used for radiators and garage heaters as well. It is just a room by room sizing calculator. So right now I've got a 20 by 20 garage. Above that is the room. So we're looking at 400 square foot. With code 79938, shout out to El Paso. I know that the room was built back in the 90s, so I'm going to put between 1975 and 2000 for the building age. Room type, I'm going to put bedroom. All right, let's see what we have. We have a cooling average about 6100 to 6100 in heating as well. So as we go through, I'm going to change what my customer's qualifications are. These are just based on average, uh, nothing in particular. So their desired room temperature for cooling is 72 degrees. Now we're going to go to wall direction. Our north side is exposed and our south side is exposed, as well as our east side. Our west side is not exposed. That's connected to the home. Window details. I only have one window. And once again, our system takes things on average. I do have one window on the east side, however. Ceiling details. Now this is above a garage. There's no attic, so it's sloped. Um, so I'm going to leave exposed and I have eight foot ceilings in the peak. Floor details. Now it's above a garage, so technically we're gonna leave it as exposed. I'll show you here in about two seconds. Continuing on, 6,900 BTUs is 6,000. That's changed it a little bit, but not quite, a uh, not quite too much. So I know that the frame wall was stucco for where that's located. Insulation, I'm gonna keep it as fair for the walls. The windows I know are two pane low E. Now the ceiling is not under attic. I have it listed as sloped, so we're gonna switch that over to slope, but I'm not sure if there's any insulation. So if you're not sure, I always put no insulation. Floor type, it's gonna be over a floor, over exterior or garage. So this is over garage, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. I'm not sure if that has insulation in it either. I'm not physically there, so it's hard to tell. This has changed a lot. So we're looking at 16.6 to 14.8. Once we have this information, we skip to results. You can either download it, you can print it, or you can email it to yourself. Um, based off of this, we'd probably be looking around an 18,000 BTU system. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to give us a call. Sometime shortly here, I'm gonna show you how you can go through and you can pick a mini split based off of these credentials. Have a wonderful day.